Good morning everyone, how are you going? Charlie here. Um, I uh, came for my morning walk, Marchant Park, just on the north side of Brizzy here, just not far from where we live. Nice park, but um, and it's a nice morning to be doing it I suppose. It's a bit cooler than it might be at 12 o'clock today, but um, yeah, I think it's going to be a warm one anyway. Hey, um, listen, I just wanted to give a bit of an update on my post-op appointment yesterday, as you may recall. Um, I had an appointment arranged to um, go over my biopsy, biopsy about three weeks ago, so really a post-op appointment. Um, I guess the, the upshot of it all is that, um, as I say in the, in, the, in the fine print there, that it's not necessarily the, the, the news you want to hear sometimes, but it's the news that we need to hear. So with that said, um, guys, uh, Look, uh, out of the 20 odd biopsies they took out of my prostate, uh, seven of them came back cancerous. Um, you know, which, like I said, uh, you know, no one wants to hear that sort of news, but um, unfortunately, um, or I should say, fortunately, um, it's something that I needed to know. Um, I'm so glad, I'm so happy that um, I um, decided to go and get that health check some months ago now um, at the local Aboriginal Medical Service over here. Over at Yuli Buraba, um, uh Medical Service um, in Manly or Wynnum. Um, without doing that, I suppose I could be still walking around here and uh, not knowing that what was going on downstairs. I suppose, and uh, who knows what would have that what that have led to. So, um, stumbling for words a little bit here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, happy that I um, actually went and got a health check. So, guys, everyone, just uh, go and get yourself checked out. I'm, I'll tell you now, I'm 57 years old. Uh, maybe I should have gone and had my health check when I was 50. Might never have happened, so I uh, could have done some things differently. But, you know, the reality is we're here today and um, I'm, uh, I've uh, now got a, a little bit of a struggle, um, a little bit of a, uh, a challenge, if you like, to get myself right. So um, uh, thanks for all your good wishes and, uh, and support once again. Um, go and get that health check. Definitely go and get that health check. I, um, I think it might have uh, saved my life or prolonged my life a few years. I might live now a, um, a quite healthy life and uh, um, until I'm ready to go. But um, hey, this fella's not ready to go yet. So uh, you know we've just got to uh, uh, continue to look after ourselves, guys. Look after ourselves and also look after our family. Um, so uh, I've got a bit of a plan going forward. Part of that plan is um, you know, still doing my morning walks, uh, eating healthy, um, going to get my regular checkups, and also I suppose um, you know just um, making sure family and friends are uh, are going okay as well. So uh, look, thank you once again for your well wishes. No need to panic just yet. I'm certainly not. I'm looking forward to this challenge. Um, it's just something that. Uh, you know, life tends to um, put up uh, for us to, I suppose, judge our character, I guess. And um, you know, it really depends on how we respond to these types of this type of news. So, uh, <laughs> um, uh, I'm uh, don't usually talk when I'm walking, so I'm getting a bit puffed. Uh, so, look, guys, have a great day. Um, look, um, I look forward to catching up with you guys. Um, uh, over the next 12 months, over the next 10 years, um, as far as I'm seeing at the moment, but uh, uh, or even further. But uh, it's time to time to go book in, get a health check, go to the Aboriginal Medical Service, or go to any clinic if you like, whether that be a uh, public, private, or an Aboriginal controlled organisation. So uh, go and get your health check, find out where you are, because you don't want to really be walking around. Um, you know, at my age, not knowing uh, how healthy you are or what needs to be done. So, um, all the best, have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks, guys.